Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amber Nicole, and this week we are continuing our getting ready for visitors vlog. Last week was what to organize when you have visitors coming. This week is what to clean when you have visitors coming. So if you haven't seen last week's video, go ahead and stop this video and go watch that one. I'll go ahead and give you a second so you can pause it, go watch the first one, and then come back to this one. Did it? Okay, great. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you five cleaning hacks that I use all the time, and they work like a charm. And we're also gonna do an entire clean with me video, so you're gonna see how I clean the entire apartment. It's gonna be a really long process because I'm gonna be cleaning a lot of things. So, like I said last week, my in-laws are coming, so I can't have a dirty house because I don't want them to be like, oh my god, my son lives in like a wretched place. No, we can't have that. So, enough talking, we got a lot to do, so let's get started. Do you want it? Can I have a kiss? Mm, okay, fine. Rude. Lord, toddlers are so ruthless. So the five cleaning hacks that I'm gonna tell you are how to get that mildewy smell out of your towels, how to clean your white shoes, cleaning your makeup brushes, um, what else I have? cleaning out your coffee makers, and also a cleaning hack to clean out your oven and your stove top. Enough talking, for real, but like this time, for real, let's get started. So for the first cleaning hack, I'm gonna show you how to get that mildewy smell out of your towels, okay? So here is what you'll need. You're gonna need a cup of vinegar, and then half a cup of baking soda, Next, we're gonna need boiling water. The hot water that the washer gives isn't hot enough, so you're gonna need boiling water, okay? A cup of vinegar. So these aren't all of our towels, but I like to do them in, I don't like to do them all at once because obviously it won't work as well. So these are just half of our towels. So I'll be doing this again a little bit later on. You're gonna take your vinegar. You're just gonna pour that in all over. You're gonna take your boiling water. all the way full so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my cycle I'm gonna do hot and I'm gonna do just medium so it can fill up enough okay and then let that go there we go that's the first part of that first cycle is done the towels washed with the vinegar in them and you can smell the vinegar still so you take your half a cup of baking soda and then you just Sprinkle it on. Ooh, okay. Same cycle, hot, medium, do it again. So for our next hack, it's going to be cleaning our white shoes. So I got my dirty ass white shoes. So we are gonna get these clean. Um, I'm kind of mad because I lost my actual like cleaning recipe for it like I don't remember I normally write them down but I did not write this one down and I forgot it so I was like searching Pinterest for the one that I used and I can't find it so we're just going to wing it hopefully it works if it doesn't well Oh well. So to clean our white shoes, we are going to obviously need dirty white shoes and a magic eraser, baking soda, and you can use either vinegar or warm water. I'm pretty sure I used vinegar. I feel like I used warm water the last time, but I also feel like I used vinegar because of like the sizzle stuff, you know? So I'm gonna use vinegar as we get. So for this first step, you're going to want to rinse your shoes with cold water just to get any extra dirt off. So this is what we'll do. We'll do half a cup of baking soda. Okay, we will mix it with warm water. 
I did half a cup of baking soda, so I'll do half a cup of warm water and see what that does. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna have to put another half a cup of baking soda because it made it super liquidy. <laughs> okay, I get it now. So it's one cup of baking soda and half a cup of warm water. So it's gonna make this like nice paste. We are going to move to the laundry room so I can sit on the floor and do this because it is kind of a process. I'll be back for you. I gotta get my life together, you know? I'm just a crazy mess. Oh, I forgot to mention, you also need a toothbrush. going to let that soak okay let all that soak up and then we are going to throw them in the wash all right I let the shoes like absorb all of the baking soda so now I'm going to throw them in the wash and I'm going to run a cycle um, then I'm going to let them air dry if they come out and they're still not clean, I'm gonna do the whole process over again because that's what I had to do last time. And they came out, they were white, they were perfect. I mean, they weren't perfect, perfect. Shoes, pin, laces. So the next cleaning hack is cleaning the oven and the stovetop. The best way to do this is starting at nighttime, letting it sit overnight, and then finishing it off the next day because this has to sit at least 15 to 20 hours. So yeah, we're gonna start it tonight, finish it off tomorrow. Let me show you what you guys need. You're going to need a vinegar, baking soda, and then you're going to need some water. And I would recommend one of these. You don't need it, but if you have like a rough type of sponge, um, you're def definitely going to need it if you really have caked on grease. So I just went out and bought these at Marshall's for like $2. It came in a huge pack. So... Yeah, would definitely recommend getting one of these just to help with that extra elbow grease and a sponge just to apply this paste that we're about to make.
kind of makes a mess like <laughs> while you're cleaning it like the baking soda kind of gets everywhere but the end result is worth it i promise i'm gonna go get some sleep i will see you guys in the morning All right, so I changed into my cleaning attire. We have a lot to do today. It's just a matter of getting it started. Got my list right here. Okay, you know what, let's just send it. Guys, there's literally so much to do and I feel like I don't even know where to start. <sighs> so another hack I wanted to share with you that I didn't have on my list is dryer sheets. I use dryer sheets to clean my washer and dryer. Um, sometimes the detergent gets on it and my dog's hair gets on it, so dust, you know, whatever. So I use dryer sheets and they clean perfectly and they smell good. And I've already used them, so I'm putting double use to them, so it's just perfect. getting back to visitors are coming so don't forget to clean these certain things and I will say do not forget to clean your fans I had my mother come visit last year and I always have our fans running and she turned off the fan in our dining room and once the fan stopped I could see all the dust that was on top of the fan and I was appalled and I almost died because it was my mother. So yeah, don't forget to clean the fans, people. on YouTube so I'm gonna use it um, the girl said either shampoo oh, I'm sorry either baby soap or dish soap um, the first time I tried this I used dish soap but this time I'm gonna try baby shampoo because I like the smell of baby shampoo better for this you are going to need obviously dirty makeup brushes a cup of warm water 
one tablespoon of baby soap or dish soap and a tablespoon of vinegar. One tablespoon vinegar, one tablespoon So then you just place them in there. So. Okay. And we are going to let that sit for 20 minutes, okay? The 20 minutes is up. And as you can see, all that like grime in there, yeah, it's nasty. So for this step, guys, you're really going to want to rinse these brushes really well because if you don't, you will still get that lingering vinegar smell. And let me tell you, it's not a very good smell. So I recommend maybe even putting a little bit of soap and rinsing them with whatever soap you used because the first time I did this, I still could smell the vinegar, and so I had to redo the whole thing over again. But the makeup came off super easy, and it worked super well, so I really recommend this. I really recommend using a little bit of extra soap just to make sure they don't smell like vinegar. Look at that, that's just so yuck.
joined us to clean. Say hi. Can I be, hi, can I be cute? Okay, so I let this sit overnight. It's now 4.19 in the afternoon. So I hope it sat for 20 hours. I'm not gonna count it. I think I did this at 10 o'clock at night last night, so whatever. But yeah, it sat for a really long time. So now I'm going to take my vinegar. I put it in a little spray bottle. And I'm going to just spray it and it's going to start fizzing. And it's actually pretty satisfying when you see it fizzle like that. I'm exhausted. On to our next cleaning hack. Cleaning our coffee makers. So we have a regular coffee maker because I drink a lot of coffee and the K-cups are pretty expensive. So we, I only use my Keurig for like my hot tea and stuff like that. And also like since we'll be having guests, I'm gonna go buy K-cups for them. So it's just more convenient for them. I went out and bought this. A Keurig, a Keurig cleaner. I've never used one of these before, so we'll see how it works. And then for the coffee maker, I just do a cup of vinegar and I put it in the coffee maker like where you would put the water. And then you just let it brew, you press on. After that, you just keep putting water and putting water to get the vinegar out and yeah, so. But yeah, you just want to like clean out that system. All right, I'm already running my water through the coffee maker. So now I have to just figure this out. Okay. Hmm.
If you have guests coming, please do not forget to clean your microwave. It's nasty, so go clean it. So if you are looking for any specific instructions for any of the cleaning hacks that I used in today's video, they will be in the description below. Also, do not forget to clean any doors. Doors get super dirty also with fingerprints and germs and whatnot, so don't forget to clean any of your doors. And also cups and coffee mugs. We have a billion mugs, so they gotta be clean. So that's it for Amber's Aspect this week. Thanks so much for watching. If you all have any cleaning hacks that I could use, please let me know in the comments below because I love cleaning hacks, okay? Like, they're one of my favorite things. And if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you wanna get notified every time I upload a video. But thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.